can create Turpento effects with the Create Turpento outline in the Edit Toolbox. First, select the object that you want to change into Turpento. Turpento will only become highlighted when you make it a raised satin fill or a raised satin outline. So I'm going to first change this to raised satin. Notice how Create Turpento is now highlighted. When I click on Create Turpento Outline, a dialog box opens and it will automatically select a different color. It is important to leave this as a contrast color so that the machine will stop before stitching the Turpento outline. This color stop occurs so that you can place the fabric down before stitching the outlines. So the fabric is placed over the raised satin and then outlines will stitch, creating a Turpento effect. The fabric can then be trimmed close to stitches, such as you could do with knit shears, or it can be extended into a seam line, which would be recommended for woven fabrics. A small positive offset is automatically added to take into account the buildup of stitches that occur with a raised satin. You can choose between a single and a triple outline and click OK, and you can see that the outline has been created around this object. If I want to add a Turpunto outline to my satin outline, again, I first must change it to a raised satin stitch. Then I can click on Create Turpunto Outlines. I'll leave these settings as they are and click OK. And now I have my outline around my satin stitch. You can also use this effect with lettering, but in order to apply this effect to lettering, the lettering first has to be broken apart. I'll select the lettering, click on Break Apart, and then select the lettering again and apply Raised Satin Fill. Now I can click on Create Turpunto Outlines and click OK, and I have my outlines around the lettering.